Welcome back to some more Dying Light 2, y'all. Oh, man. Happy, happy Good Friday to everybody, you know? Some people celebrate. I don't know why it's a holiday of Good Friday, but hey. I thought every Friday was good. Get, it was payday, you know? Let's see what else we got to do, do on here. Ooh. Mommy in here. Man, get your foot. I'm out here fighting zombies. Wait, what time is it? No. I think I can't see what time it is. Ah, dang it. Okay, it's getting dark. So I gotta get this Sophie. Oh, man. Set, sex, such cheeks. Ada found Lucas's weapon. Ada didn't find it. I did. Won't give your boy no props. Oh, okay, dang. Ouch, that hurt. We got enough time to make it to this safe house. Yo, they're getting eight. Okay, which way I gotta go? Quick search, quick search. We're on time for this. Turn you into a manwich sauce. I got my girl texting me, you know. Me and me have been dating for a while. But she don't know a certain secret. Her birthday's coming up. I'm trying to do something special for her birthday. Try to make it a uh, special birthday for her. She says uh, golden birthday. Never heard of it. Never ever heard of a golden birthday. But the way she explains it, it's like um, a golden birthday is a birthday that corresponds. Your birth date and corresponds with your age. So if your birthday is on the fifth, and you turn five, that'll be a golden birthday. Still can't believe it though. My birthday was on the first. I had mine when I was one. Look at that bull crap. Oh no. Better go find the safe zone. Tuck and roll. Nope, can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. It's getting dark. The 
heck? Y'all singing or y'all in group therapy? Yeah, I see what y'all want to see. I'm out of here. Did I get y'all faces chewed? What on earth is that thing? Don't tell me that's a new goon. Like more like a demolisher, man. Well, all I know, I don't want them problems. Not yet. Not ready for that smoke yet. Dang it, bro. You got nothing for me, man. I can sell this stuff, though. Give me some money for these things. I don't go to sleep. Gotta be morning. Gotta be daytime. Mm -mm. I don't feel like being chased at night. My health ain't at, at that high neither. Nor is my stamina. Mm -mm. Shovels seem too loud to you sometimes. Yeah. I, don't it's I can't make it to that safe house. That safe house is too far away. I don't think I have the stamina to get to get there. So I remember a guy showing me a safe house some way down here. I couldn't do it. Right, I'm gonna mark that safe house so, so I get to it, I get to it. Uh, I was just saying, like, uh, my girl is a good woman. I'm trying to try and do, try do, do right by her, you know? And get someone good in your life, you don't want to throw, throw them away, throw them out with the bath water because you have some bad experience. You want to do is get some therapy, get some help. So when you find some good, you recognize it. I think it would be a okay. Oh, this dude getting beat up. Come on, bro. None of this yet. Not anymore, anyway. Back to the story. Okay. Dead zombie people. I was getting eaten. Not my problem. Oh, come on. You work on the thing on the door. Oh, okay. They're alive. Am I being followed? The dude trying to hang? PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. 
This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. You cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. <laughs> Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Everybody getting chewed. Bad. And getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you then? I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, oh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Because I want to kick her butt for stealing some stuff. I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? But let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well. But mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. I thought he was Carl from The Walking Dead all grown up. You can't go through the tunnel. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. Yeah, put me down before I crotch up in your neck, boy. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. Oh, you yeah, stinking rules, man. The rules this, the rules that. Thinking rules, man. 
find something you like in the bazaar? Okay, gets to work at the bazaar. Hey, you. Yeah, you. What you want, I'm man? I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. I didn't agree to this yet. Haven't said you didn't agree, either. Just think it over. You'll come around. It's easy money. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. And just between us, you won't regret it. Teaming with infected now. Let's see what these people want. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm. Ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard a pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. <sighs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. I need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password, Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. That sounds like a death sentence. Found some powdered milk. Such a old school. Hidden behind this collapsed metal. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julie, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. 
You sure oh. you didn't blame me after he started renting? Blame the bat, the black guy. But oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe... Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except... well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Blame the back, black guy. I'll do this one. Don't know what it's about. Oh, level turned. two. What my level is at? Watch out for special. What's the level one? The oh, this is gonna be hella hard. This is gonna be hella hard. Seriously, there's no time for delay. Excuse me? Not you the bee. Just no. calm down. No. Save my skin, man. Take this with my thanks. Welcome, bro. Safe zone. Come on. Get some action in here. Strong enough yet. Hey, Open up. Hans? Hans, you there? Open up shot. Hans? What the hell? Stop! 
Don't drink that water. <laughs> water? <coughs> this isn't water. <coughs> oh. That moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this... Uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. Which way is out? Hmm. Have you guys played King of Avalon? If you haven't, try it out. Pretty cool. Hmm? Aha! Uh -huh. And let's see if we can go save this doofus. Wait, is that a windmill? Oh man, I can't even do it. It's Damn, they enjoy their manwich. Oh, make it! <laughs> what? Damn it, the hell. There he is, he's up there! Hunt? I see him! Oh, you old fool. Hunt? There he is, come on dude, drink Hunt. this! Are, are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already! Bullshit. What? <laughs> My wife said that? My Anna? She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. My woman. <laughs> So she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. Finally, someone let me out of my cage. Now I gotta go find Marco. Let me get some of this stuff in here. Okay, cigarettes? Shoot, I can use a cigarette for all the stuff I've been dealing with. Oh man, I gotta get my agility up. Just down there, just walking normally. Oh. Okay. All right. More for time. Bring you first. No. Oh. Come on, yeah. Yeah, burn, boy, burn. What's up? Yeah. 
spear to the chest. Wakanda forever. Who the heck? No one, no one told you you could join the party? Goodbye. Off my building. What's wrong with you? Unless it was in his chest, huh? Yeah. To the right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, everybody. I'm gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna end it right here so we can get get to back to you in the next one. <laughs>